today I have lavender inspired makeup tutorial. I thought it'd be really cute to come back with something kind of different and not the color that I would usually gravitate towards to. So hope you guys enjoy and let's get the tutorial started. Before applying makeup, I'm gonna prep my skin using the Yehuadam Brightening Toner. Yehuadam Brightening Toner is quite moisturizing and does a great job on cleaning up your pores but not leaving them too dry. Now moving on to the moisturizer, I've been using this one religiously. Yehodam Pure Brightening Lotion Consistency is not thick at all. It's easily absorbed to the skin and perfect for summer. I love how this one has brightening properties to help me with my hyperpigmentation. Done with skincare, now let's dive into foundation. For today's look, we're going to use the Ink Lasting Foundation from The Face Shop. They come in in two different products, the cushion and also the bottle foundation. But for today's look, we're going to use the bottle foundation to show you guys how it applies on my skin. I noticed that this foundation has semi-matte finish and also has medium to full coverage. The texture doesn't feel thick at all, it blends in like butter. And to apply this foundation, I'm going to be using the pink sponge puff and for more matte performance, you guys can apply it dry but for me, since I have dry skin, I usually soak the puff with water and then use it to apply the foundation. This foundation is one of those foundation the longer you wear, the better it looks and I also love the way my natural oil blends with the foundation and makes it look like my skin but better. Coverage is great, looks natural and overall really good foundation. living under a cave for all these years because I recently discovered the face shop eyebrow pencil and I've been obsessed with it. It is so easy to draw, really easy to work with and lasts all day. For today's look since we're focusing more on the eyes and I have bangs so I'm not going to fill in too much, just going to fill it according to my eyebrow shape. Since my hair is a lot brighter now, eyebrow mascara routine is a must for me so that my eyebrow doesn't look awkward and I've been loving this Designing Brow Cara in color dark brown. They're so pigmented so if you have very dark eyebrow color like me, check this one out. All time fade. To set my makeup, I'm going to apply powder and this one right here is finely milled and I love how it's pressed because it can be carried around everywhere especially for traveling. I'm just gonna lightly pat it and apply this onto the side of my face. I have short hair as you guys noticed and I love applying it on the side of my face so that my hair doesn't get sticky onto the foundation. So make sure if you guys have short hair like me, apply it on the side of your face first. Forehead if you have bangs as well as T-zone area if you guys have combination skin. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take this lavender color as a base for our eyeshadow today. I'm going to apply this color up to my crease line area to give more depth and color. come in with dark purple color eyeshadow and apply this on the outer V of my eyes to give more definition. I noticed that all the mono cube eyeshadows are really good quality and they don't have any fallout at all. They're pigmented, the texture is really fine and they're really easy to work with. To line my eyes, I'm going to use this Ink Graffiti Brush Pen Liner in brown. I'm going to start from the outer V to create a wing liner effect. I've been loving the subtle cat eye wing eyeliner look because it gives off that really cute but at the same time a very sexy vibe. So I really like it. Slightly more mature but still cute. By using brown color eyeliner, it helps to make the look more softer. So if you guys wanted a little bit more edgier look, I would recommend using a black eyeliner instead. I'm gonna take this 
this white shimmery eyeshadow and apply this on the middle part of my eyelid. I like doing this because it helps to give more dimension to the eyes and make the eyes look a little bit more fuller but at the same time more romantic because it has the sparkle and the shimmer so it really looks good when the light hits on your eyes. I also like applying it on the inner corner so that the eyes look brighter and also my edges out to look younger, of course. To connect the wing eyeliner, I'm gonna take this brown color eyeshadow and apply this on the lower outer V. By doing this, it will help your eyes to look a lot more bigger. And now before applying mascara, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. To curl my lashes, I'm gonna take the 2-in-1 Curling Mascara. This is one of my favorite, favorite mascara of all time at the moment, especially from Korean drugstore brand because this thing is amazing. Not only it volumizes really well, but it holds curls, you guys. It holds curls for a long time. And I mean, look at that, you guys. It gives your lashes drama. It literally looks like you're wearing falsies. I love this and it has two type of mascara here. It has a slim one, it has a big one. I usually apply the slim one first and then top it up with the big one later. And the cool thing about this product, it doesn't clump at all. For blush, I'm gonna be using two blush today from the Marble Beam Blush Collection. And first, I'm gonna take number three. This is a beautiful lilac purple blush color. I really love how subtle it is, so I'm gonna use this as a base. To make it more wearable, I'm gonna top it off with number one. And this one is a really pretty wearable everyday pink color. So these two make such a great combination together and I really love it. And now we're gonna move into contouring. I'm just gonna contour on the side of my face so that it will make a really nice feline shape when I take photos. And usually if I do on the side of my face and also around my forehead, it gives like an illusion that my face looks smaller. So if you guys wanna achieve the same thing, try applying it on the side of your face and also around the forehead area. Last but not least, I'm gonna take this flat velvet lipstick in color PK01. I'm gonna apply this color all over my lips as a base because we're gonna come in with another color later to create a gradient effect. This color is a really pretty mauve pink color, definitely very wearable for day-to-day -day basis. If you guys are looking for something really wearable, pigmented, but at the same time it lasts you a really long time, I would highly recommend you guys to check this one out. They sent me the entire color but this one is my favorite along with the next one. Lastly, I'm gonna take this color in PK02, Be My Pink. I love this color so much. It's really pretty fuchsia pink color and it works really well together with the previous one which is PK01. And I also love how this lip color complements my eye makeup really well. I have a surprise for you guys so I'll be going to Malaysia with the face shop and I've prepared a lot of really interesting events for you guys in Kuala Lumpur first I'll be doing invitation meet and greet so if you guys are interested I'll put all the information on the description box below so don't forget to check it out second I'll be doing part-time job in the face shop Malaysia for one day I'll be working at five stores at the face shop in Malaysia I'll be part-timing at Mid Valley and also Sunway Pyramid, Monetama, Burjaya Times Square, and Pavilion. So if you guys want to know more about the meet and greet and want to meet me in person, I'll put the info on the description box as well. So don't forget to check it out. So that's all for today's video. Don't forget to swing by while I'm working there. And I'll see you guys in Kuala Lumpur. Annyeong!